today's video is sponsored by Sunbird. Sunbird reimagines how people discover, shop for, purchase, and even experience fragrance. Sunbird lets you choose one designer fragrance to try each month for just $17. They have perfumes, colognes, and lots of unisex options as well. And they carry brands like Gucci, Prada, Burberry, and even some indie brands like Skylar or Confessions of a Rebel. And each month, you get to pick the fragrance that you receive, so you can make sure that it's something you'll like. Then they send you a 30-day supply of the fragrance to try out as someone that is just learning what my fragrance profile is and what scents I like. Scentbird has been amazing because it lets you try so many different scents without breaking the bank and committing to huge bottles. I also love the little cases that they come in because it's super easy to swap around different fragrances to different cases and they're really travel friendly. So if you want to check out Scentbird for yourself, which I highly recommend, you can use my code HaleyJean to get 55% off your first fragrance, making it just over $7. This promotion is available in the US and Canada. Let me show you the three perfumes I received this month. First, we have one of my new favorites. It's Brit Sheer by Burberry. I'm a big fan of Burberry Her, and so I wanted to try other fragrances by Burberry, and so I found this one. It's nice and sweet, and it has a little bit of a floral undertone that I really like. It's perfect for spring and summer. Next, we have Frilla Magnifica. This one is super feminine and floral, which has notes of mandarin, white rose, and amber. Lastly, we have this one from Sicily, which I will absolutely butcher the name of this perfume if I try to say it, but you can read it on the screen. This perfume is a bit more tropical, fruity, but it also has like that clean nature undertone with notes like bergamot, violet leaf, tuberose, cedarwood, and amber. Thanks again to Zembird for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check them out in the description box below. Let's get into today's book haul. is L. Kennedy. 
Stop. 
Zalendorf working as the prison healer. Okay. When the rebel queen is captured, Kiva is charged with keeping the terminally ill woman alive long enough for her to undergo the trial by ordeal. A series of elemental challenges against the torments of air, fire, water, and earth assigned to only the most dangerous of criminals. Then a coded message from Kiva's family arrives containing a single order. Don't let her die. We are coming. Aware that the trials will kill the sickly queen, Kiva risks her own life and volunteers in her place. If she succeeds, both she and the queen will be granted their freedom, but no one has ever survived. Okay, so it says there's like three, I think this is a trilogy, so, but it is a series, and this is the first one. I've seen this cover, I've heard people like talk about this, but I did not know that that was the synopsis, and now I'm very excited to read this. I love books like YA fantasy, um, but especially ones that have like a trial. I am currently kind of in the middle of a bunch of fantasy series, so uh, I don't know when I'm going to pick this up and start a new series, but hopefully soon. smell their books. I love the smell of, like, new books. Is that weird? I don't know. Whatever. I don't mind being weird. But yeah, so thank you again to Victor for sending me this next book that a subscriber sent me. It's a romance, and I have had my eye on this for the past, like, two months. I feel like series really blew up on like bookstagram and I'm excited to read it. This was sent by Abby all the way from England so thank you Abby for sending this. I am so excited. This is Mile High by Liz Tom Ford. This is the first book in a contemporary romance series and I believe they're all just like interconnected standalones. Sports romances. So I believe this one is a hockey romance. And then the second one I think is a basketball player. Um, but yeah, so this follows Xanders and Stevie. Xanders, Chicago hockey isn't complete without me. Everyone's favorite player to hate. I know my role and I play it well. In fact, I thoroughly enjoy spending the majority of my game time in the penalty box before leaving the arena with a new girl on my arm each night. What I don't like is the new flight attendant on our team's private plane. She works for me, not the other way around, but I'll be sure to remind her of that, and I can guarantee by the end of the season, she'll be begging to quit her job. But every road trip blurs the lines, and I can't quite figure out if I keep pushing that flight attendant call button in order to push her buttons, or if it's more than that. And then we have Stevie. I've been a flight attendant for years. I thought I'd see it all. But when my new job lands me on board working with the most egotistical and self-righteous diva in the NHL, I start to second-guess everything, including the promise I made to myself of never hooking up with an athlete again, no matter how annoyingly tempting he may be. Evan Sanders is unfiltered, unapologetic, and too attractive for his own good. He loves his image, but I hate everything about it. Everything but him. So, flight attendant famous hockey player, enemies to lovers, vibe is what I'm getting, and it sounds really good. I love a good hockey romance, so I, I think I'll pick this up definitely sometime this summer. I am super excited. I really hope I like it because the second one, again, is about a basketball player, and basketball is my favorite sport, my favorite kind of, like, athlete, I guess, would be like a basketball guy, so I'm excited that as well. I don't know if it's just me, but I love indie books. This is like an indie romance. And when you buy an indie romance, like, I love the covers. They're like the soft matte covers. And the pages just feel so crisp. And they usually do like these cute little chapter designs. 
romance books. I just think they're so cute. And I've heard that this is spicy, that this series is spicy, 18 plus. So the next book that I got, I got purely because of you guys. I got like two or three separate comments from people being like, Haley, you need to read this book. You need to read this book. It just came out. It's so good. It's, it's like, I think it's technically new adult uh, fantasy. And it's a fantasy romance, and there's dragons, and I, I was just like, okay, I'm sold. So, I went and got it, and I've heard that this is, like, now really hard to find. Apparently, it's, like, out of stock everywhere, um, but I managed to pick it up from Barnes & Noble, like, a week or two ago before it started going out of stock, thankfully. But yeah, if you are on Book Talk, Bookstagram, BookTube, you've probably seen this because everyone is raving about it. It is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I love this copy. It has the dragons on the spine. It's very cute. Um, and I'm actually not going to read the synopsis on this because I kind of want to go into it blind, but I do know that it's about a girl who is sent to this academy. I think it's like a school and academy where they train dragons and they ride dragons and if you don't get like chosen by a dragon or whatever you die so it's kind of like a fight to the death high stakes and I've heard that there's an amazing romance in this so I'm excited but I don't want to know too much before going into it especially with like really overhyped books I kind of like to go in blind so. say, a dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without their dragon is dead. So, I will read that eventually. Um, I might wait till the hype dies down a little bit, so I'm not, like, having everyone's opinions kind of in my head, um, but I will be reading that at some point. Okay, the next book that I got is kind of different, because it's not really a book that I got to, like, read. It's more of, like, a journaling, writing book. I thought that this would be fun to kind of help with my anxiety. I've been struggling with that a lot lately. If you saw my life update video, I'd go more in depth about it, but I don't know. I just thought that this would be kind of nice to do. So this is Healing Through Words by Ruby Core, and this is actually not like a poetry book, like our normal stuff. It's a kind of like writing journal so, there's different, like, prompts, like, write a letter addressed to all the people who've touched your body, set a timer for 15 minutes, there's, you know, like, tips and tricks, and, uh, Ruby kind of, like, guides you through it, um, there's this one that says, close your eyes, take 10 deep breaths, after the 10th breath, spend some moments meditating on the word trauma, then draw what trauma looks like in the space below, so, it's just a bunch of like writing, journaling, prompts, and tips and tricks. And I love writing, but ever since I graduated, I really haven't been doing much of it. I've just been reading more. So I thought maybe this would be fun and kind of give me some writing inspiration. I love a good little writing prompt, and this is full of them. So I think I'm just going to like slowly make my way through this and fill it out, write in it. So this is Peachy by Camry Kohler. And so I've 
I did and I hate this cover. I think it looks like a Christmas book and that's not the vibe of this book so I just, I don't like the cover but this this is the best. I love the characters on the front the back just has big old bookshelves and it even has a um, reversible dust jacket where the characters are kids. Oh my god it's just really cute. This edition of 
of all the siblings and the parents and just all the drama within the family and I think it talks a lot about sibling dynamics but also like how your parents relationships like affect your relationships and yeah I'm just I'm excited I really need to read more books about family dynamics but I thought I'd start with this one also love this cover. It's one of my favorite Taylor Jenkins read covers of all time. I just, it's stunning. Stunning. So yeah, five star prediction. Hopefully, I love it as much as I think I will. Okay, the next book that I got was actually sent to me by the author, which is so exciting. So I want to give a special little shout out to Sunny for sending me her book. This is The Secret We Share by Sunny Wright. Go support your small, local, indie authors, okay? Uh, I love every book, including this one, linked in the description box if you want to check any of them out, but she also wrote the sweetest note in the front and sent stickers and fan art, and it's just the kindest thing ever, so thank you so much, Sunny. I really appreciate it. Let's read the synopsis. Liv Talbot has lived a life in the shadows, carrying a secret like a silent burden on her shoulders. She sees things that other people cannot, but she goes unseen. Or so she thought. Liv sees demons, a dangerous fact to face in a world where people like her are labeled as delusional and locked up in local sanatoriums. So, she tells no one about these fearsome creatures she's forced to fight, not even her closest friend and confidant. Leon Locke. When Sienna Aguilar sees Liv fighting a demon, something that's never happened before, Liv has a choice to make. Reveal her secret to this stranger and risk everything, her safety, her freedom, maybe even her life. Or tell the truth and find a different kind of freedom, the kind that comes from the solidarity of being truly seen by someone else, of not having to shoulder her secret alone anymore. But things are shifting and there's more at stake than ever before. The demons are becoming a more demanding presence, and the sanatoriums are stretching their power, both becoming more and more of a threat. With her life on the line, Liv has to learn what it is she's fighting for. Love a good, like, demon hunter, demon fighting story. And I'm excited to read this. Thank you so much again to Sunny for sending this to me. I feel like I'm gonna pick this up when it starts to get like the fall time because the vibes, you know, has that dark autumnal kind of energy, the demons. So I think this will be a really fun read this fall. So and just look at this character art. Oh my gosh. It is stunning. Stunning. So the last two books that I got are both from the same author. One of them I just picked up from Barnes and Noble, and then the other one was my fairy loot box from, I think, last month. But they're both from TJ Kloon. Uh, back in April, I don't know if it was March or April, I think March, I read House in the Cerulean Sea and gave it five stars. I absolutely loved it. So, I'm very happy to slowly be collecting his other books. Let's start with the fairy loot because... It is stunning, and it's also his most recent release, like this just came out. So this is In the Lives of Puppets by DJ Gloon. I'm sorry. Look at the sprayed edges. Oh, the sunset, the colors. It's so beautiful. These fairy loot editions are insane. travel across an unforgiving and otherworldly 
begins 